Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Trigonometry. The questions and solutions from exercise 11.4 and this is part 4 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 9 and question number 10 of the exercise 11.4. As here is exercise 11.4 and this is question number 9. If secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p, then find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. I shall repeat. If secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p, then find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. If you observe the question, you can find that secant theta plus tan theta value is given as p. And we have to find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. Isn't it? Observe again. We have given secant theta plus tan theta value and we have to find secant theta minus tan theta value. Wherever you find a secant theta plus tan theta, then you must recollect the trigonometrical identity which is having the relation between secant theta and tan theta. Here you can find secant theta plus tan theta and there you can find secant theta minus tan theta. What will happen if you multiply these two? Secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta. If you multiply these two, what will happen? This is a plus b and this is a minus b. If you multiply a plus b with a minus b, you will get a square minus b square. That is, you will get secant square theta minus tan square theta. Therefore, from the second trigonometrical identity, we know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Isn't it? Dear children, how many trigonometrical identities are there? Good. There are three trigonometrical identities. Out of the three, what is the first trigonometrical identity? Good. The first trigonometrical identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Then what is second? Second trigonometrical identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. And can you say the third trigonometrical identity? Good. The third trigonometrical identity is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. We already know that all the questions from exercise 11.4 are depend on either the first trigonometrical identity or the second trigonometrical identity or the third trigonometrical identity. Now this question depends on the second trigonometrical identity which is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Isn't it? Therefore, in the solution, first of all, let us write what is given. Solution. We have given that secant theta plus tan theta is equal to P. Isn't it? We have given that secant theta plus tan theta is equal to P. We have given the value of secant theta plus tan theta. And we have to find secant theta minus tan theta. Therefore, let us mention the second trigonometrical identity first of all. Let us write the second trigonometrical identity. But we know that second trigonometrical identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. If you observe this, this is in the form of a square minus b square. If you consider secant theta as a and tan theta as b, then this is in the form of a square minus b square. What is a square minus b square? a plus b into a minus b, isn't it? This is in the form of a square minus b square. a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. That is secant square theta minus tan square theta is secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta. a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. We use the formula a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b into a minus b. But we know this value already. We know that secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p. Therefore, let us substitute this value as p. Therefore, if you substitute this value as p, then this is p into secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. You see, this LHS is nothing but the product of two values, isn't it? Whereas the first value is p and the second value is secant theta minus tan theta and this product is equal to 1. p into secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. 
here p is multiplying this secant theta minus tan theta if you take this p to other side then secant theta minus tan theta is equal to here since this p is multiplying this secant theta minus tan theta this side if you take it to other side it should divide therefore secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by p isn't it here secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p this value is given and we are asked to find the value of secant theta minus tan theta for which we consider the second trigonometrical identity which is in the form of a square minus b square we wrote this as in expanded form a plus b into a minus b where we know the value of a plus b is p therefore a minus b means secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by p this is a very important question either for one mark or two marks now dear children now let us look at question number 10 exercise 11.4 here is question number 10 if cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k then show that cos theta is equal to k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 i shall repeat if cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k then show that cos theta is equal to k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 if you observe this question here what is given we have given that cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k whenever you find cosecant theta and cot theta then you must recollect the trigonometrical identity which is having the relation between cosecant theta and cot theta can you recollect yes it is the third trigonometrical identity what is this what is the third trigonometrical identity cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 we already did question number 9 which depends on second trigonometrical identity which is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 as it is in the form of a square minus b square we wrote it in the form of a plus b into a minus b and then we did the problem similarly we have given cosecant theta plus cot theta value therefore let us consider the third trigonometrical identity and let us write it in the form of a square minus b square and let us expand it as a plus b into a minus b you see let us look at the solution now we are given that cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k but from the third trigonometrical identity we know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 this is in the form of a square minus b square if cosecant theta is a and cot theta is b then this is a square minus b square a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b is equal to 1 but cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k this value is k k into cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 or cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 this k on the other side it is divided by k cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 by k and cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k is the given value it is let us consider this as the first equation and we just got this value cosecant theta minus cot theta which is equal to 1 by k let us consider this as the second equation now let us separate the second equation from the first equation at first instance and then let us add these two equations in the second instance why you separate and why you add because if you observe the rtp if you observe the required to prove we have to prove this isn't it we have to prove that cosecant theta is equal to k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 this is to be proved in order to get this you can observe minus at numerator and plus at denominator therefore once you have to subtract the second equation from the first equation in first instance and you have to add both the equations in the second instance is it clear minus at numerator and plus at denominator therefore let us write one equation over the other i wrote the first equation next i wrote the second equation i wrote the first equation above the second equation now let us subtract by minus wherever you go for subtraction you have to change the signs of the equation which is below the 
upper equation. Means the signs of this lower equation are to be changed. Plus cosecant theta will become minus cosecant theta. Minus cot theta may become plus cot theta. Plus 1 by k will be minus 1 by k. Now, plus cosecant theta and minus cosecant theta may be get cancelled. Cot theta plus cot theta will be 2 cot theta is equal to k minus 1 by k. 2 cot theta is equal to k minus 1 by k is the third equation. And now, we wrote these two equations one or the other. And let us add now. By adding cosecant theta plus cosecant theta is 2 cosecant theta is equal to k plus 1 by k. Since plus cot theta and minus cot theta are cancelled, then you got 2 cosecant theta is equal to k plus 1 by k is the fourth equation. Is it clear? We took 2 cot theta is equal to k minus 1 by k as third equation and 2 cosecant theta is equal to k plus 1 by k as fourth equation. Now, if you observe the RTP, minus is in numerator and plus is in denominator. Since you can find minus in third equation and plus in fourth equation, let us divide the third equation with fourth equation by dividing third equation with fourth equation. Wherever you divide two equations, you have to divide their LHS and also you have to divide their RHS. Means division of LHS. Division of LHS means LHS of third equation by LHS of fourth equation. What is the LHS of third equation? 2 cot theta divided by LHS of fourth equation is 2 cosecant theta. Isn't it? 2 cot theta by 2 cosecant theta is equal to LHS of third equation is 2 cot theta. LHS of fourth equation is 2 cosecant theta. Therefore, it is 2 cot theta by 2 cosecant theta is equal to now RHS of third equation. RHS of third equation is k minus 1 by k divided by RHS of fourth equation is k plus 1 by k. Okay. This is k minus 1 by k by k plus 1 by k. Now you can cancel this 2 and 2. And next, we'll, what left? Cot theta by cosecant theta is left. But if you observe the LHS of RTP, LHS is cos theta. Therefore, this cot theta is to be converted in terms of cos and sin. We know that cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta divided by this cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta as cosecant theta is reciprocal to sin theta. Okay. Cot theta is cos theta by sin theta and cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta. Now, by sin theta, by sin theta will be cancelled and you will get cos theta by 1, which is equal to cos theta. And if you observe this, k minus 1 by k, k means k by 1 minus 1 by k. k by 1 minus 1 by k, there are two fractions and you have to separate them. In order to separate two fractions or in order to add them, you have to find the LCM. Here, k means k by 1, the denominator is 1. And minus 1 by k, the denominator is k. Therefore, the LCM of 1 and k is 1 into k is k is LCM. Whenever you find the LCM by multiplying the denominators, to get the numerators, it is very simple. You have to cross multiply them. k into k, k square, minus 1 into 1 is 1. k square minus 1 divided by k, whole by Again, if you observe this, k plus 1 by k. k means k by 1 plus 1 by k. Again, for 1 and k, LCM is k. And numerator, by cross multiplication, k into k, k square plus 1. Therefore, this is k square plus 1 divided by k. You can cancel by sin theta and by sin theta, you will get cos theta is equal to. You can cancel by k and by k you will get k square minus 1 by k square plus 1. Therefore, finally, you got the solution as cos theta is equal to k square minus 1 by k square plus 1. This is the most important question of this chapter. In alternate years, it is appearing in the public examination. Therefore, you may try to understand each and every step. You may try to write each and every step at your note and try to practice this question wherever you find any difficulty or whenever you find difficulty, you write your doubts 
in the comment section i shall answer them dear students by this we concluded the chapter trigonometry all the video links of introduction to trigonometry and all the problems and solutions of exercise 11.1 11.2 11.3 and 11.4 all those links are given in the description you may click them and you can revise this total chapter this chapter is a new chapter which is introduced in 10th class only this concept is very much useful in your further studies as it is a new chapter you may please revise this once or twice so that you are well acquainted with this chapter thank you thank you ananda